Hello everyone. As you know, Vietnam is famous with its noodle soup, the chicken or the beef are equally rated number one. So today I share with you the updated version of chicken pho noodle soup. You can see all the fixing together and we we'll talk about this later. Welcome to Saigon Cook Travel. I am Saigon Cook. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you. So I use a one five pound hand chicken because that is the, the best flavorful chicken for the fur. So when I got the chicken home, I uh, rub it with salt and lime and drinks and then I blanch the chicken with uh, water, uh, salt and vinegar. Now we need to cook the chicken and um, into the pot is white onion, garlic, ginger, green onion and some uh, uh, licks leaves. I have it's happened that I grow licks in the garden so here it goes. If you have not you can uh, put more green onion. So you eight cups of Oh, water so that is pretty good amount to make the soup so flavorful normally in Vietnam the big chicken like that they make a huge pot of broth but because we are in the family we can splurge we don't need to eat so much uh, so many balls so um, if you want to cook more you can so the season is salt pepper and fish sauce and to make the noodle soup flavorful i use um, the cinnamon puff the bay leaf the Coffee, coffee lime leaves, the star leaves, um, um, and I write roast them so that the flavor come out. And I cook, you check the doneness by poking your chopstick or the fork into it when the water run out. Um, clear that means the chicken is cooked because it's in the hand the tough uh, meat so i cook it for 90 minutes and uh, now i remove the meat out and i slide them normally in vietnam they will uh, chop the chicken with the bones together but I remove um, the meat only and uh, slide the meat only and I also place all on the plate um, a leg and a, a wing if someone want to chew on it but uh, to eat with the soup I slice them ready so it's easy to eat. You can see the um, I have two uh, kind of meat here. The dark meat from the leg and the white from the breast. But each one has a touch some skin on it that's what the Vietnamese people love 
they want to eat the skin and the skin I already make it extremely clean and now they are the skin is so crunchy and good so if you didn't eat like that you didn't eat the chicken skin before try to do something like I do you will be hooked like I said I uh, play the chicken on the plate with one um, rum mat one rum mat and one wind and to eat that together with um, culantra um, mints and uh, Vietnamese coriander rau rum. I also uh, snip some of the coffee light leaves onto this. The uh, leaf, the light leaves go very well with the chicken. So fragrant. And I uh, grow them in my kitchen, in my garden as well. And I chill the tender leaves to use here so that's it for the chicken and what to eat with this is a bone of fur so I blanch the I cook the noodles in the water to be softened earlier and I put down into the bowl and uh, some meat on top and some coriander for decoration and some green onion and laid on the uh, a prop on it and that's, that's it you eat it with the um, chili pepper fermented fish sauce and uh, salt pepper and lime and some onion slice and green onion enjoy thank you for watching bye bye